This video is how to calculate bond enthalpies. Now in your exam, you won't be expected to know the shape of molecules. So um, what you will have is you will have drawn out a chemical reaction with all of the bonds in it. And what you need to do is you need to work out how much energy is required to break the bonds on the left hand side, which is the endothermic phase, and how much energy will be released when you make bonds on the right hand side, and then work out the overall difference. So when you're looking for bonds, what you're looking for is the lines. So the first thing you need to do is to split the reaction in half and count each of the different types of bonds you have. So in this reaction, we have a, a, a fuel called hydrazine burning with oxygen and we form nitrogen and water. Okay. So first of all, I can see in the center here, I have one bond between two nitrogen atoms. So I have a nitrogen nitrogen bond and I have uh, then four other bonds between a nitrogen and a hydrogen so I have a nitrogen hydrogen bond and I have four of those on this side uh, sorry here I have uh, oxygen and I have um, one double bond oxygen on this side I have one triple bond nitrogen which is going to be an incredibly strong bond because it's a triple bond and then i have in each water molecule i have two oh bonds so i have an oh bond i have two of those but the stoichiometry the number at the front is two so it means i have two of two water molecules so if you imagine i have an extra water molecule like that overall i have one two three four oxygen hydrogen bonds Okay. Um, so then what I need to do is look on a data table for the energy of each of these bonds. So first of all, a nitrogen-nitrogen bond is uh, 156. Nitrogen-hydrogen is um, 300 and... Oops. 91, but because I've got four of them, I have to times that number by four. And then an oxygen double bond is 497. And then what I have to do is I have to add all of these up to give me the total. Okay, and I also have to do the same on the other side. So a nitrogen triple bond is 945. So I told you that was going to be a very strong bond. Okay, so one bond because it's got a triple bond is really, really strong. And then you have an oxygen hydrogen bond which is 463 times 4 now if at this point you're thinking where have these numbers appeared from remember I'm taking these from a table so in your exam you get given these numbers you get given what is the energy of each bond all you have to do is work out which ones you've got more than one of so you need times by 4 so then on your calculator you add these up so first of all I'm going to do the endothermic side so I have 156 plus uh, 391, but I have four nitrogen-hydrogen bonds, plus uh, an oxygen double bond, which is 497. And so that gives me overall plus 2,219, okay? Uh, as the total amount of energy on the left-hand side required to break all of these bonds. I then need to do the same thing on this side and add up how much energy will be um, released when I make these bonds. Um, so same procedure again. So 945 plus 4, 000, sorry, 463 times 4 gives me 2,797. But this is negative. And the reason for that is because this is the energy required that it's going to be released um, when we form these bonds so this side this number here is endothermic because that energy is required to um, break those chemical bonds and this number here is negative and that's because it's exothermic um, and so what we have to do to work out the total enthalpy change is we have to do the endo minus the exo. So we have to do 
2,219 minus 2,797. And that will give us an overall enthalpy. Remember, enthalpy is just a word for energy that chemists use. It's the energy per mole. It's nearly the same thing as energy. So it gives us an overall enthalpy change of minus 578 kilojoules per mole. So because that's minus, that means overall this reaction is exothermic. Okay, overall it's exothermic. And if you look at these numbers, that should make sense because you can see the number on the right is bigger than the number on the left. And what that means is that I will get more energy released than I need to break the bonds in the first place. So overall, I will get an excess of energy. So that will be released to the surroundings. And that's why it's exothermic. The temperature of the surroundings will go up.